Thank you, Chairman Moody, and thanks to those of you who are joining us here at the Capitol today and to uh, my fellow committee members, fellow legislators here in the room, uh, to Texans who are, um, who are watching on television, and welcome to all of the non-Texans who are tuned in across this country and really all over the world. We are um, honored to sit in front of you today, and uh, unlike Washington, to show you that government can work, and that Republicans and Democrats can work together, that death penalty supporters and death penalty opponents can work together, that the branches of government, the legislative, the executive, and the judicial branches can work together. When it comes to our fundamental duties as legislators, it's very simple to protect at all costs the fundamental rights and liberties of the people, most importantly of which is the right to life. And when it comes to the life of a potentially innocent Texan, someone who I have over the past several weeks grown from having questions and concerns about to believing he is fully innocent and was within 20 minutes and 20 steps of being executed by the state of Texas just days ago, if we can't speak up and step up and work together to fix a system that has, is not broken in and of itself, but that needs fix, that has failed Robert and failed Nikki, then what are we even doing? Today, this hearing, the purpose of this hearing, our purpose for coming together and issuing a subpoena to Mr. Roberson and to convening last week and today and in what is likely a subsequent hearing is to ask questions and to find the truth. To figure out where the system went wrong, where it failed Nikki, where it failed Mr. Robertson, and to try to fix it. Not only in his case, but to make sure that it never happens again. In closing, I'd like to make very clear, members and Mr. Chairman, remind ourselves that when we take our oath of office, we solemnly swear that we will faithfully execute the duties of our office of state representative of our state, the state of Texas, and will to the best of our ability preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States and of the state of Texas. That oath of office I take seriously, I know each of you take seriously, and importantly that oath of office is the same oath that judicial officers and executive officers take. And the legislative branch today is taking our oath seriously and I'm honored to be here with our fellow members and I welcome um, all the people tuned in to the Texas House of Representatives. Thanks for joining us today.